and welcome once again to all of Fabric 3. So today we are going to actually do a little bit of more work with uh, Tech Reborn. So let's get started. One of the things I've done is to um, put down here an MFE and beside that I've put down I made another ultra ultimate solar panel and I've also moved the gas turbines here it's got no fuel in it at the moment but one of the best ways to get fuel for this is to um, use uh, rubber, rubber rubber logs and put those through the industrial centrifuge and when, they, when they're here we'll get stuff like this so we'll get some carbon cells methane cells and some sap which of course will then give us plenty of rubber so we can take the sap and put that back through again and that'll give us rubber so that's I think it's this one. Let's have a look. What have we got here? Empty cells. Shouldn't make a difference. No, they, they'll probably stay here anyway. So let's get... What I'd like to do today is to then start and put down a tree farm. <laughs> and there's a program here called A Tree Farm. Uh, let's have a look. Oops. And you can download this one fairly easily. It's, it's available in the... On the internet somewhere just look for a tree farm and it's there anyway i'll put the link in to this particular version of it i haven't made any changes to the original version anyway so let's just run this program and see what it tells us you can with an advanced turtle you can run it straight away like this so it says you've got to put in here a chest in slot one, 47 cobble in slot three, and torches in slot eight. Okay. Um, and you have to run it with a, with a parameter set up. So we have to press Control T to kill it. So, and then I'm going to try again. Let's get out of it. Let's just get out of it. Control and exit. Probably the easiest way, isn't it? Like that. So in here, I have got some wood i've got 47 stone bricks they'll do fine i've got a a torch and i've got a diamond chest and i'm going to put those into the slot so the diamond chest if i remember rightly goes into slot three these go into slot four the stone bricks and the torch goes into slot five and then you just type in it a tree farm set up but there, there, there is one thing special about this particular um turtle it has to have an axe and a crafting um table attached to it so here we, it says it tells you what we've got to do three four and five we'll just press enter let's press enter not working why not Let's try again fill slots three four and five have i got oh maybe it wants a normal chest okay um let's do that it doesn't matter what type of chest is actually in here, but we'll, we'll put down a normal chest to start with. Uh, it's probably trying to detect the fact it's actually got a diamond chest in. Let's try that again. Nope, it's not working. What's wrong with this? <laughs> mm -hmm. Let's just start it again. And it's not working. Three, I've got three, four, and... Oh, I've only got three torches and that's probably the problem i've only got three torches i have plenty hold on what have we got in here 64 ah oh, that's the reason why so we can put some more into here and let's hope that just does that i'll put them all in and take that out of them like that uh let's see put if i can put the diamond chest down anyway i'm pretty sure i can there there we go now it, later on it tells you what we do next so in slots one and two we need saplings we need 20 or more saplings and then in slot two we need chest uh the wood from the sapling so we need some rubber wood and then the third one is we need a chest and the reason for that we can watch this do its business now it puts down the chest and then it makes a little sort of pattern like this um the reason it needs a chest is when it to refuel itself it uses the wood that it's chopped down um what it's doing with the wood that he chops down, it basically puts everything in its inventory into the chest, puts the chest down, puts everything into the inventory in the chest, and then uh, crafts some logs out of the wood, and then fuels itself from there. That's how it actually refuels itself. So we do, it's maintenance-free program, this. But it doesn't mean to say it's perfect, because if you quit the game or the chunks unload, then it's got to reset itself back to the beginning again. So it's nearly finished. It'll come round and make this little pattern here. Now, the bits it can't actually reach are the corners, the diagonals from the corners. And what it will do is it puts a torch down in those places. 
So in this program, there's eight of those places. So now it's finished doing its building. So now it's going to put down torches like this. Doesn't take too long. We'll just watch it do its little business. And as you can see, it's doing each of those corners. We'll go over across here like that. I think I might have some phantoms. Hold on a second, I've got some phantoms. <laughs> One more phantom over here. Haven't had a phantom for attack for a while, obviously. How much did I get? Four brains. That's not bad. I think that's all the phantoms gone now. So there it's finished. And it's placed down all the torches. So all we now need to do is run it with the ingredients that we require from that. <laughs> so we need some saplings, we need some wood, and I've actually got a vacuum hopper here. The reason I've got a vacuum hopper, and it will also put any extra stuff back into here, so probably, yeah, probably need to remove these out of here like this, and the dirt. So in one goes the saplings, in two goes this, and then the place 16 goes to the chest. So the wood, the rubber wood goes into slot two and a chest, and you don't need a, an extra chest for that. It's fine. So you just tap a tree farm, and press enter to start, and then to go through this. And it's, but it would have emptied out its ingredients anyway. Let's press escape. And so now it's looking around here to see if it's got anything to plant, if there's any wood around here. Normally there would be some wood, and it would actually chop down the wood. I don't know if it goes through, through the whole place before it starts planting down saplings. Probably it does. So it has to go through this, the whole of this track here. So it cannot detect diagonal. So it can detect here easily, and it can detect, detect here. It can't detect this place, but it can from here and here. So that you can detect all of these spaces, except for the ones here. So what we can do, just to catch the saplings which get broken, we can put down a, a vacuum hopper here like that. So anything that gets dropped out of here, like saplings, it can easily... Um, put them down, uh, catch them if it doesn't catch them themselves. It doesn't always catch all of the saplings, you know, you know, it might break. There might be one that decays and then it works that way. So as you can see, it's put down six, no, five saplings here. Um, and it'll carry on. And I also believe this works quite nicely with uh, trees which require four saplings like dark oak and jungle trees, I think, and maybe even spruce. But I uh, for the time being, I would like to get some rubber. And in fact, I've tested this program. Uh, let's have a look at what we, we've got. Because I've actually, let's press go W first. In this chest here, I've actually got about four hours worth of wood, <laughs> as you can see. Rather a lot of wood like this. We could take this wood, we could put this into the, uh, into the centrifuge. See, this is making, this is converting this sap into that. So I'd have to get this, empty this out. Let's just, let's just wait for this to finish and put this wood in its place. Uh, it does need some tubes, empty tubes in here as well for this to function properly. So any second now it's going to finish. There we go. Put that into there and then we'll look at, in the centrifuge here, we should have some items come through here. So we've got some carbon cells, great. Uh, carbon cells are used all sorts of places. Let's look at the uses of carbon cells. In the blast furnace, with uh, quartz will get silicon cells and compressed air. With uh, a carbon cell with a refined iron will give us steel and two empty cells, which is nice. And then in the chemical reactor, we can use carbon cell plus calcium cell to make calcium carbonate. Um, hydrogen will make methane. We've done that before. Nitrogen. Nitrocarbon cells is nitrogen uh, and carbon. And the last one here is glycerol. And carbon will produce nitroglycerol fuel cells. Nitro coal fuel cells, sorry. And let's look at the uses of those. Sometimes you don't have a use, but at this time we do. We have a use to produce a lot of power for a diesel generator. In fact, I was going to make a diesel generator. If you right click the diesel generator, you can see the different fuels it can make. So what I don't understand about diesel generator, let's go and make it. It's here. In fact, it's night time, so I'll be back in a second. Huh. Just before I went to sleep, there was another uh, attack from some phantoms. So I got another three brains from them as well, from phantom membranes. So what do we have here? This is an electronic circuit, a generator and 
some aluminium plates. You can use, I think, iron plates for aluminium. Doesn't matter. We've got plenty of aluminium, so use it. and we'll make a diesel generator. Now, what's strange about this is that it's a low tier machine, and it produces 32 E per tick. Maximum energy? No, is it? Yeah, 32 E per tick. And then we have a look at the use of this. Obviously, you can break itself and drops itself, but um, here we've got nitro coal fuel nitro fuel diesel and nitro diesel if you look at the recipe for nitro coal fuel if I, I probably can't do it from the silica in the cells anyway maybe i need to look for nitro as well maybe that makes life a bit easier so we've got a nitro carbon cell, a nitro diesel cell, and a nitro fuel cell. So nitro diesel it'll be this one here. Uh this one. Okay. Recipe for that, as we discussed earlier, was diesel plus glycerol. Okay, and that produces five of those. Now the diesel cell is made by oil and empty cells. Now where do we get oil from? Look at this one. You basically get oil from soul sand. Now Soul sand means you've got to go to the nether to get that and dig up a load of soul sand. Fine, but that's really not low tier, is it? That's sort of a medium tier thing. Low tier is beginning early game before you go to that, and then high game is when you've been to the end, I guess, would be my view on this. And it's the same for all of these fuels which you've got in here. They're all a little bit on the tricky side. So that's nitro diesel, diesel, nitro fuel. So the recipe for that one, if I can do it. No, nitro coal. Let's look for diesel. So nitro diesel is made from diesel plus glycerol. Glycerol is made from uh, there must be a different way to do it. Distillation tower. And distillation tower is definitely top top game stuff. Look at that one. We need industrial electrolyzers, extractors, industrial centrifuges energy chip cells an industrial machine frame not early, not low game not early game it's late game and the fluid replicator is also late game look at this you need u matter to get u matter um we need fluid replicator and see you matter should have a, the matter fabricator anyway so let's have a look at matter fabricator just just for completeness matter fabricator so again, it sees energy flow chips, industrial machine frames, extractors. This one here is requiring four advanced circuits, tungsten, iridium alloy plates, and uh, electronic crystals. This one is one of these crystals plus that. And not actually too much out of the way these days. We can probably do that. Um, Iridium alloy, it's, we need to make an implosion compressor to do this. And some iridium alloy ingots. Now this is where it gets so tough. Because <laughs> iridium, we've got plenty of iridium or a reasonable amount of it. Anyway, mostly you would get that from the, uh, from the end anyway. Uh, advanced alloy plates, that's not a big deal. And diamond. The iridium plates are basically just pressed iridium. Let's have a look how much iridium I've got. I think we've got around about tungsten tungsten steel iridium we've got three <laughs> but we have got some more iridium around here i think i've probably got some more iridium in here maybe these eight so we've got 11 iridium and maybe i even have some in the in the dank for so we'll look at make that to our bag mode and have a look at this bauxite i've got a reason that redstone i need a lot of nikolite Emerald, you see, I've got plenty of diamonds and emeralds now. Lapis, I've got plenty of lapis. Uh, iridium, I think we don't have very much. Maybe there's none in there as it happens. So the other place we'd be getting iridium is in is from here. So let's have a quick look for iridium in here. This is actually very slow. We've got four nuggets of iridium. <laughs> That's it. <laughs> So it's a, it's a long way to get that to going up there. So I don't fully understand why uh, we would use the, di the diesel generator at the very beginning of the game, unless it's used by different mods. Anyway, I'm just going to put it down there for the time being. Uh, now, as you can see, the tree farm is, is, 
is working as we started with here and now have a look at this we've already got eight pieces of logs in here but he doesn't dump it stuff until it's been a complete round so as the trees are growing it takes quite a long time for it to actually get round but if we go down here take a risk go into the path here we've got get taking a risk because we want to see the, the thick um gotta wait for it to come down again now I'm not sure it's, where it's going to come down. <laughs> I was going to have a look inside it and see how much we've got. And here we are. It's coming down now. One more. See, we've got 21 in here. So I'll get out of the way in case it comes down and hits me. <laughs> Which it should do, in fact, as it happens. So it's working steadily and it carries on. I've got a chunk loader here. This is a 5x5 five five chunk loader. So this chunk plus two other chunks is the area it'll do. So let's just turn on chunk borders with F3 and G. And you can see this is one chunk. So this is the second chunk here it would load up. So this is definitely within range. And it would also do this chunk as well. Now by default, it doesn't do all 25. It does the middle nine. So if you want it to do more than that, you have to right click the, the chunks you want to load up. So let's have a look. So at the moment, I'm not bothering to load up chunks over here. In fact, I think if I look at this correctly, um, these chunks here, are the, this is the wall. So anything beyond the walls behind me is not being loaded up, as you can see. And also on the right-hand side here, we don't need anything being loaded up over here, I think, after that. But it doesn't load up anything beyond the chests because it doesn't need to. Um, so now... Let's do something different. First of all, turn off the borders again. We don't need those. But what I'd like to do now is to do some more work with the uh, applied energetics. Let's have a look at this. And I get the book. I think the book's probably in the... Um, yes, it's in the bag, the backpack. I might upgrade the backpack and then go to the nether again and have a look what we got to do. So we haven't completed any quests between times because we've, we've done industrial... Tech Reborn, reasonably high level now. In fact, the ones, the next ones to do really are these ones down here. What have we got here? Fabrication, the matter fabricator. And I'm feeling bad for you, is um, fusion coil. This one is also a difficult one to do. Well, that's high game, end game as well. So we'll leave that for the time being. Let's go back to the book. So most of this stuff is, is done. In fact, I need to upgrade the pack so we can get the, the new book and it might have some more uh, quests in there to do. So the next one actually I'd like to start with is either Industrial Revolution or Modern Industrialization. The reason for that is I'd like to have a pump because I've got water in here and I can't find any way to get the water into this tank except for right clicking it with tubes. Uh, and that slow process uh, and mercury and the like is probably is OK, but the water is a is a lot with well, a lot of recipes use water so let's have a look for pumps in here i'm not sure which one's the best so maybe we just have to go and find the best one so pump we've got here three types of pumps from uh in modern industrialization and here we've got one from industrial revolution so this one actually doesn't look too bad two buckets four bronze plates one battery one battery is made from nickelite and tin plate which also is not too difficult a machine block which is nickelite and iron plates none of this is actually very high level stuff and then a mark one circuit which is again this nickelite dust gold plate and copper plate no big deal we can do that that might be able to make this one up and see how that works the other one over here is a little bit more complicated from modern industrialization it needs copper gears which you're then using a large copper plates in in an, a cutting machine or with a saw the saw is basically a forged hammer and you need one of those in fact that would be a reasonable way of doing it that's just one plate and what was the other one did that produce two so this is the cheaper way of doing things with the machine of course you've got to then make the machine <laughs> so that's a diamond a copper plates and the and these copper fluid pipes a copper fluid pipes actually are these curved copper plates which are basically compressed copper plates compressed twice you can also do that through the hat that would give you three but then you're losing one so you'd have to make to make one of these you need four copper plates 
bit complicated. So let's do the first one of these and see if we can actually pump water into the um, into this tank or in, or directly into the uh, in industrial grinder. So let's try that one first of all. Uh oh, I've got some more visitors <laughs> again. I, you can see how many of these I've got. I'm going to sort these guys out. Let's just do that. Um, let's get one. I'm just going to rush them. I'm not rushing. Why not? That's better. Oops. They're shooting themselves then. Right, and I've probably got... I don't know how much damage it took. Let's have a look. I've got one arrow. No, I've got shot twice. That's actually bad. But I've also got bad omen, and I'll also have the... Oh, did I not pick it up? Oh, yes, I did have that. The Omnius Banner. I did pick up the Omnius Banner. Let's go put this up here. I've got a full tree's worth of Omnius Banners. <laughs> All the way up to the top. Let's do this side. Nope, so try again. I'll do it. <laughs> All right. I get up here when I'm concentrating a little bit better. So there we are. We can put another Omnius Banner here at the top. Go down again. In the in the backpack, I'm always keeping now a, a, a bucket of milk. Uh, of milk, drink the bucket of milk. Get rid of the effect, and go and get another bucket of milk. Put it back into the backpack, ready for next time. So that's what I've been doing for the, them all the time. So I tell you what, I'll prepare the ingredients, and I'll see you in a few seconds. Well, I've got everything prepared. Let's just go back to the recipe and have a look at what we actually need for this recipe for this particular pump. So we need water buckets, we need this circuit, we need a machine block, we need a battery and some bronze plates. So fairly straightforward, two, two buckets. Next one along is the Mark 1 circuit. That is also fairly cheap, copper nickelite. We've got tons of this nickelite and gold plates. No big deal. Next one along here is the Machine block, just iron plates and nickelite dust. This mod needs a lot of nickelite dust. You do need to have plenty of that instead. Batteries against tin plates and nickelite dust. And you've got your battery. And then we just got some bronze plates here. So we can just then craft this recipe straight up like that. And get a pump from Industrial Revolution. Our first machine. Great. Now, I don't know how this works. I will be honest with you. Let's just put it down here, for example. Now, let's have a look at it. There's no animation on this at all, but it does look as though it's the right way around. Let's take these out of here like that. But I guess it needs some power. Yes, it does energy, as you can see. So it needs 50, um, takes 50. So we need to give this some power. One thing I have done is change all my power around. I noticed that the gold is not adequate. Oh gosh, more visitors. Gold is not adequate, so what I've done, the I've get the right chest. I replace all the gold piping with this insulated HV cable. It's supposed to be gold is supposed to give you. A, looking at the wiki, was 512 e per tick, um, and copper was 128. Now, I had gold everywhere, and it didn't look as though it was providing 120 e per tick. But now I've put in insulated high voltage cable. It is working, but you can see that here. So on this side here, I've got some insulated copper coming in into this MFE, and that's full. And then this is providing, uh, it's got 8K per thing. So we've got quite a lot of power on this. Well, my guess is that I can go underneath here like this. I'm hoping we can, underneath to this water. So if we put a pipe, a tube on top of it, or cable on top of this, do that. I've not done this before, I will be honest. Let's just try to see if it connects in. No, it's not connecting into this. So then we've got to go and have a look at modern industrialization, see if there's something else that could be happening to here. That would connect in. I don't think there's any other places we can connect to. It looks like it's the top, but maybe I'm wrong. You never know. No. So let's have a look at yeah, modern industrialization, or which one ever it is. Industrial revolution. So we'll have a look at uh, revolution.
so we need to see if it's got any cables in here um what they're called in this particular mod pack i'm not sure i'll be back in a second when i figured out what we need okay there's two different things i can see we've got a solar generator and uh, mark three this is the mark one generator we've also got a normal coal generator this one's not too difficult again circuits glass and bronze plates and the battery exactly what we've just made i shall go and make this and be back in a second but before we do that let's just have a look at um what's that one it's coal generator okay and that's got these heating coils which is just three nothing special here just lots of copper and nickelite let's go and press escape and have a look at the other stuff we can do in here there are some cables there's some mark one cables and these ones are basically very straightforward gold and nickelite will give us that mark two cables is mark one cables around a nickelite ingot the nickelite ingot is just one ingot and an iron ingot in the infuser we haven't got to the infuser yet that's a low level machine in fact it probably does tell us what we want to do i'm just telling you look at the trader so let's just what we can do i'll be back in a second with that prepared okay so i have all the bits prepared for the solar panel as you can see i've got a machine block battery mark one cable and two glass we probably need some oh i think i need some plates as well i need two bronze plates that's the only thing i'm missing i put those back into this chest i don't know why um as you can see i've got reasonable amounts of stuff plates in here we're using a lot of plates so that is not a bad thing to have so let's just do this now we should be able to craft it up and then i should be able to put this on top of here so i'm just gonna have to break these bits away let's just uh, put the umbrella away i don't need that let's get the book out uh and the open the backpack and then just shift right click this off these cables away like that and then let's try that with the solar panel so we can put the solar panel on top of this like that and sure enough it's gone down as you can see um now it's pumping water great so the water should then be coming into here as you can see it it's fantastic it doesn't have to be fast and i hear i've got some bauxite ore and the use of the bauxite ore the one i want to use anyway is what is will be with water so let's have a look in the industrial grinder exactly so we're getting some bauxite ore and some aluminium again the reason for this of course is bauxite the use of bauxite dust is in the industrial electrolyzer we will be getting titanium which is one of the things we need and then even then we're getting plenty of it we also get hydrogen and some compressed air the hydrogen will go quite nicely with the carbon that would produce water but we could know that will produce methane wouldn't it again another fuel so that's quite a nice process it doesn't need much power as you can see it's quite adequate to do this now i promised last time to do some more stuff with applied energetics but let's have a look at what we want to do with applied energetics i actually completed two quests fantastic um so i did up do the circuits i haven't done the revolution begins because that will be there and we've also done uh great so we've done the solar panel obviously so let's claim this one we'll get oh an infinity book ah uh, fantastic <laughs> now that's a good reward and you think some of the rubbish we get in here and a block of gold that's actually not but too bad either that was for the solar generator mark one in fact on my bows here i have upgraded a standard bow to netherite bow and I put on this one mending, so I can't put infinity on it as far as I'm aware, because that would make life far too easy. Let's just have a look if we can do that. It's also night time for the third time, I think. So that means I've come to the end of the episode. Depends on the mods, actually. Sometimes you can put infinity on a bow. Um, in this case, you can't. As you can see, it doesn't work. Um, and I've got another bow which we could put infinity on, the one from the oh, uh, Babylon, Gates of Babylon. And I think that'll be in the bow's chest over here. We've got a long way to go, so let's, I'll be back in a second with that. So, you see this because it's got many doesn't work, but the netherite bow from Gates of Babylon does work. So you get, uh, we can do this one. I think I'm going to do that. It, the only thing I need there would be another power four book, and that would be a very impressive bow. Um, it also would be sensible to put on this from Unbreaking 3. Uh, that would help a lot as well. And I'm not sure it tells you any uses for this. No, there's no uses for that. So you repair it with presumably with netherite. Well, 
Well, that's it for this episode. So I'm going to be here beside the pump. Um, the reason I wanted to do that is it automates all of the ores. So all of the low level ores like iron, copper, tin, um, which, which can use water as a means to generate more is the way I'm going. So that's why I did that this episode. Anyway, until next time, I wish you all the best. Bye for now.